All right, so obviously we're still some time out from uh, actually getting these chickens. And so in the meantime, I figured I'd talk about a couple other things we got going on around here. And uh, one of the things we've done recently is we've planted some uh, Murray Cypress trees along our north and south property line. And uh, it's primarily to be like a wind block. We get a lot of wind out here with these open farm fields and uh, it gets pretty windy and blows stuff everywhere and just kind of makes it an overall not fun experience when you're outside trying to get work done. So we ordered a bunch of these, I don't know, these little tiny like sapling trees off the internet that are probably a foot tall or, or smaller. We've planted those on both sides, like I said. And so tonight I'm gonna try to put together like a little watering system for them. It's, you know, it's very difficult to get the hose stretched out and spread halfway across the, the property to get over to them. So I bought some 55 gallon drums, oh, about two weeks ago or so and uh, I'm gonna use that tonight with a four-wheeler and kind of strap everything together and get a piece of hose in there to hopefully be able to use that to water both those trees and our fruit trees uh, we also got fruit trees several weeks back and uh, we planted those there's eight of them uh, there's two pear two peach and four apple and we're obviously not going to get anything off of those anytime soon but in the coming years we'll certainly get a good bit of uh, fr fruit off of those so you know it'll be nice to have and also when we do get these chickens we could potentially use that to help feed them in the future and um you know just trying to get everything built up around here so that we've you know we're growing fruits vegetables um you know I, I i hunt as well back here in the in the woods on the back side of the property and typically get a deer or two every year and then uh now with with this virus stuff um you know we're seeing things in the news about meat shortages and all that kind of stuff and so there's a lot of farmers around here that grow pigs and so a future video i might end up doing is we're actually going to go pick up a pig or two uh here in the next couple days potentially um get that out here at the house and uh get that thing uh processed and put in the freezer so that might be a future video that we, we do as well so i guess with that being said i'm gonna get over to the footage of kind of what we worked out with the four-wheeler in this barrel and how we go about watering these trees all right, so this isn't quite uh, raising chickens, but you know, part of what we do around here. And so uh, what I got here is this 55 gallon drum that I've strapped to the back of the four wheeler and filled with water and got the hose coming out of it there. And we're gonna try our hand at using this to uh, water some of these trees we've got along our property line. Uh, we planted, oh, I don't know, 80 trees along our property on the north and south. It's kind of a privacy fence, but then mainly to keep uh, the wind down. It gets pretty windy around here with these open farm fields and so we're hoping that in a couple years these trees will you know provide some kind of wind block for us. Um, so we're going to give this watering system a whirl. Certainly a lot better than bringing out you know one gallon jugs and stuff like that to water these trees. It takes forever and so hopefully this will be a lot quicker for us. So this thing worked really well. Uh, I didn't fill it up uh, all the way the first time we used it, just to save some time in case it didn't work, but uh, worked really well. So we went ahead and filled it up twice and we were able to water uh, all the pine trees on the property. Uh, and then these fruit trees here. Up front, we've got uh, two pear and the next two are peach. And then these last four here uh, are apple trees. And they are different apples. I just don't recall which ones off the top of my head. Uh, but getting back to this thing, this thing works pr pretty well. Uh, it's just a big 55 gallon drum strapped to the four wheeler and fill it up with water. Kind of the way it works is just like a siphon, put the hose in and as long as you're 
uh, discharge is lower than the elevation in the tank uh, it should come right out and kind of a neat trick you can check to see what kind of water level you have in your tank here if you just move the hose kind of up in it right there water started coming out so that means our water level is probably somewhere right right around there so we're almost empty So what we got here, oh no, 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 don't touch the flag, we need that in there. So what we've got here are called Murray Cypress trees. Uh, and we bought these uh, online, had them shipped to the house. They're just little tiny starters. And we've had them uh, in the ground for about oh, a week and a half or two now. And uh, weather got pretty cold the other day, but they managed to survive. So we're just trying to get out here and water them every day as best we can. And hopefully they'll take off and be a good wind wind line for us but you can see all the way down the property line there is where we planted them and like I said we planted about 80 in total both the north and the south